On this video we're taking a look at our MLB team picks and total picks for the games that are happening on Saturday, May 7, 2022. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting picks that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks. Miami Marlins vs San Diego Padres. Our team pick is. Marlins for the win. And here is why. The Padres are up a good amount on the money line, while going a strong 17-9 on the run line. Overs are 11-15 for the Padres, with two of their last three games going under the betting total. This is the seventh highest scoring offense in baseball with 4.65 runs per game on a .694 ops. The Padres are also in the top 10 on the pitching side with a 3.49 ERA despite the bullpen struggling some with a mark of 4.18 Sean Mania will make his sixth start in the San Diego uniform after going 6.2 innings against the Pittsburgh Pirates last weekend, allowing three runs on five hits and three walks, while striking out six. After being acquired in a trade just before opening day, Mania is 2-2 with a 3.60 ERA and 30 strikeouts in his first 30 innings with San Diego. Superstar Fernando Tatis Jr., who launched 42 homers in 130 games last season, is still several weeks away from making his 2022 debut as he recovers from wrist surgery. Outfielder Will Myers is out with a thumb contusion, while power-hitting first baseman Luke Voigt is dealing with biceps discomfort. Starting pitcher Blake Snell suffered a strained groin in his first start of the year and hasn't returned, while Adrian Morrigan is recovering from Tommy John surgery. Even though the Padres are the better team overall, it's hard to pass up Lopez getting plus odds based on the way he's been dealing this season. Miami has posted good enough numbers at the plate despite what it has shown in this series so far and will scratch out just enough against Mania to win what should be a great pitcher's duel here. After quietly posting excellent numbers in 2020-21, Lopez has taken things up a notch this season with dominant metrics like a 59 FIP and 22.6 KBB percent, while beating good teams like the Giants and Cardinals already. Miami's offense is far from complete, but a 106 WRC plus that ranks 13th in baseball is enough to get by when it gets good pitching, and this has been a terrific defensive unit as well for good measure. While Mania will be tough, the Marlins can get to a Padres bullpen that has the 7th worst ERA in the majors while dealing with some injuries. Miami needs to put a stop to this losing streak, and Lopez is exactly the pitcher to get it done with his terrific start to the year. Our total pick is under 6.5 runs. Season with a 1.29 ERA and 0.89 whip. Those are excellent numbers through 5 starts considering his ERA is 3rd best in the majors, while his whip is 11th overall. Lopez has also struck out 30 batters, which ranks 24th in the league. The righty last threw on Monday against at backs, where he allowed 3 earned runs on 6 hits and 2 walks. The outing lasted 4.2 innings. Newly acquired Sean Mania heads to the bump tonight for the Padres. The left-hander is 2-2 on the season with a 3.60 ERA and 1.07 whip. Mania made 5 starts in April and threw against the Pirates most recently. It was a no-decision effort for Mania as he went 6.2 innings and allowed three earned runs on five hits and three walks. Colorado Rockies vs. Arizona Diamondbacks. Our team pick is Arizona Diamondbacks. Here is why. Kyle Freeland is set to make his sixth start of the season tonight as he toes the chase field rubber. The left-hander has had an up-and-down start to the year in terms of statistics. Freeland has a 1-3 record in 2022, and he has posted a 4.85 ERA and 1.42 whip. Despite having higher numbers, the Southpaw is coming off of a great outing against the Reds. Freeland dominated Cincinnati, going 7.0 innings and allowing one earned run on four hits and one walk. Kyle Freeland will get the nod for the sixth time of the season. Freeland was outstanding in his latest effort, limiting the Reds to just one run on four hits in seven innings, leading to his first win of the season. The veteran Southpaw has pitched well in three straight outings and has logged a 4.85 ERA and a 1.42 whip, accompanied by a 1-3 record in 26 innings of action. Freeland held Arizona to two runs in seven frames last year and 3-5 with a 5.56 ERA in 15 career meetings against the rivals. The Rockies are performing better than expected so far. They have won five out of their last six games overall, thanks to a hot offense. They usually are not reliable when on the road and have dropped four consecutive road games. Zach Davies will make his sixth start of the season in this one. 
Davies was stellar in his previous effort, allowing just two runs, zero earned, in five innings against the Cardinals, and finished with a no decision in about the D-backs lost. The veteran right-hander has conceded three or fewer runs in three straight outings, but isn't pitching deep into games, and enters with a 4.24 ERA and a 1.33 whip, accompanied by a 1-1 record in 23.1 innings of action. He has posted mediocre numbers against the Rockies, going 4-3 with a 4.50 ERA in nine meetings. The Diamondbacks are playing well. They collected the three-game sweep against the Marlins prior to this series and continue to pile on the runs, accumulating 23 runs in their last four games entering Friday night. The Diamondbacks are playing much better than expected and have not lost a series in two weeks. They won two of three against the Dodgers and registered a series sweep in Miami. The Rockies aren't nearly as threatening on the road where they have lost four straight. Arizona has won seven out of its last nine games. Furthermore, D-back starter Zach Davies just completed five shutout innings against a good Cardinals offense. The D-back's offense will generate runs against Kyle Freeland, who has struggled against the D-backs throughout his career, recording a 5.56 ERA in nine starts against the division foes. Our total pick is over 8. The Colorado Rockies are pitching a 4.56 ERA, a 1.43 whip with 171 strikeouts. Starting pitcher for the Rockies is left-hander Kyle Freeland with a 4.85 ERA, 1.42 whip and 21 strikeouts, allowing 30 hits and 3 home runs in 25 innings pitched. The Rockies are batting at a .267 average for 56 hits and 27 runs and 5 home runs. Batting leaders for the Rockies is CJ Cron, with a .313 average for 23 RBIs and 9 home runs. The Arizona Diamondbacks are batting at .191, with 159 hits for 91 runs and 29 home runs. Batting leaders for the Diamondbacks is Dalton Varsho, with a .244 average for 12 runs batted in and 5 home runs. The Diamondbacks are pitching a 3.56 ERA and 1.23 whip with 169 strikeouts. Listed starter for the Diamondbacks is Zach Davies with a 4.24 ERA with 19 strikeouts, allowing 20 hits and 3 home runs through 23.1 innings pitched. Arizona's pitching staff is likely the reason that they've been off to a relatively successful start. Well, it certainly hasn't been their offense. The Diamondbacks have the 25th ranked ops at .628, which is at least trending in the right direction, considering they were ranked 29th last week. As for team batting average, the Snakes are the worst in the league at .191. They are the only team in the league with a batting average below .200. When it comes to individual efforts, Christian Walker has supplied the power with six long balls, and he has driven in 11 RBIs. Dalton Varsho leads the team with 12 RBIs, and he is batting .244. Disclaimer, no financial advice, the information on this channel is provided for education and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy, completeness, or fitness for any particular purpose. The information contained in or provided from or through this channel is not intended to be and does not constitute financial advice, investment advice, trading advice or any other advice. The information on this channel and provided from or through this channel is general in nature and is not specific to you the user or anyone else. You should not make any decision, financial, investment, trading or otherwise, based on any of the information presented on this channel without undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or financial advisory.